Welcome sa sitnain.com. Uh, in this video, ay mag-aaral tayo kung paano ba mag-reduce ng fractions to lowest terms. No? For example, meron akong fraction na 24 over 36. No? Para, ma-reduce ko siya so, para ma-reduce ko siya to lowest terms, ang pinakamadaling way is to um, get the greatest common divisor of both numbers. No? So, pwede natin tignan yung mga divisors of 24. So, saan ba nating number pwede divide yung 24? We have 1. Of course, 24 is divisible by 1. By 2. By 3, no? By 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 24 divided, divided by 2 is 12. What else? Uh, we have 6. We have 8. We have 12. And we have 24. Sana wala tayo na miss, no? Okay, mukhang wala naman. And then we have divisors of 36. We have, syempre div divisible siya by 1, by 2, by 3, by 4, by 6, by 12, by 18, and by itself, 36. So, ang greatest common divisor nila, no? These are the divisors, pero ang pinakamalaking divisor nila, our greatest common divisor nila is 12. No? So by dividing dividing both numbers by 12, we get the, the lowest terms. No? So 24 divided by 12 is 2, and 36 divided by 12 is 3. So... We can get the GCD, no? We can get the GCD. 12 is the GCD, or the greatest common divisor. divisor. Greatest common divisor, or GCD, of 24 and 36, no? And we can get the lowest terms of 24 over 36 by dividing with or by dividing uh, by the GCD no? so yung GCD pala or the greatest common divisor may mga iba't ibang ways para makuha yan ano? para mak uh, makuha yung GCD ng dalawang numbers pwede nyo panoorin yung ating video on uh, greatest common divisor now uh, there, there's another way of course para makuha itong two third pwede tayo mag Divide continuously, no? Ibig sabihin, divide lang tayo ng divide hanggat, hanggat maano na, no? Ma, maging two-thirds siya. So, for example, 24 and 36, pwede natin siyang i-divide by uh, 2, no? Obvious kasi, parehong even. Pwede tayo mag-divide ng 2 on both the numerator and the denominator. So, we have equal to 12 over... 18, no? Which is equal to 12 over 18. Pwede pa natin siyang i-divide by 2. Divide by 2. Magiging equal siya sa 6. 18 divided by 2, 9, no? And, again, yung 6 over 9, or 6 ninth, can be divided by 3, no? So, magiging um, two-third. No? There are other ways. No? For example, pwede natin unahin yung 3 dito. No? So, pwede natin 24 over 36. Pwede natin i-divide by 3. No? So, divided by 3, we get um, 8 over 12. And then, 8 over 12 divided by 3. Oh, sorry, divided by 2. We get 4 over 6. And then 4 over 6. Divided by 2. We still get 2 third. No? So, either of these ways, ay pwede, kayong, pwede yung gamitin. No? Ang pinaka-importante, yung pinaka-last fraction nyo ay lo lowest terms na siya. So, 
uh, pwede kayo mag-divide ng paulit-ulit hanggat makuha nyo or pwede nyo gamitin yung GCD para makuha nyo yung lowest terms. Okay? So, maraming salamat. I hope kayo natutunan sa video na to. Uh, gusto ko yung invite sa zipline.com. Pumunta kayo doon para makita nyo yung listahan ng mga sunod-sunod na topics. No? Mas maganda, panoorin nyo. I, re- I strongly recommend you to watch yung mga videos na sunod-sunod no? dahil mas maintindihan nyo talaga yan. And of course, if you're watching in YouTube, pwede yung uh, mag-subscribe. Pwede kayo mag-subscribe by clicking the subscribe button dun sa baba ng video. Uh, pag nag-subscribe kayo, ay ma-inform kayo via email every time na meron tayong bagong post. Of course, mas maganda kung i-share din ninyo yung mga videos natin sa inyong mga kaibigan para matuto din sila. No? Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.